Uh, let's get on with the rest of us. Frozen Britain grinding to a halt. Uh, obviously, we're all dealing with the ramifications of a little thing called weather. Uh, we don't find it very easy to deal with. And uh, yeah, we've got drivers are stranded for eight hours. Flights are cancelled. And uh, it's going to make it what's going to really help everything, of course, is a big, nice 48 hour rail strike, just to add it to the mix. I mean, one of the things that I feel at this point is that it's quite difficult to tell what has been cancelled due to industrial action, what's been cancelled due to the weather, what's been cancelled due to hangovers from COVID, yeah. and people working through I mean, so... And who's been cancelled? We're all... Yeah. Ca the whole... Co everything's on lockdown. Everything is on... Yeah. But there is just generally a sense that nothing is functioning as it should have been. Nothing is really... We haven't really resumed normal service over the course of this year properly. <laughs> And, uh, and already it's, it's, it's like slowing down again. Is that your Yes, there is a poor service across the whole country, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? And, and we, we're notoriously bad at snow. It happens once a year. We're never prepared. Yeah. No. And uh, it's funny, when we had the 40-degree weather, that was a deadly climate change. So presumably this is an ice age. Yeah. I haven't seen as much about yeah. that. What's tragic is 800 schools were closed, but the kids still had to phone in and do video lessons, which is very cruel, because that's a real a great day when the snow... You know, they're, they're memorable days when snow is... Cl that's one of the best days of your life, where you don't yeah. have to go to school because of and snow. That, that presumably is another artifact of COVID, the fact that they've yeah, established exactly. yeah, the protocol. Yes, yeah, systems are set up, yeah. sit yeah, in front exactly. of your computer. Oh, the hidden, no. costs, <laughs> hidden costs of lockdown. Do you think they'll look back when they're older, these children, and not, not enjoy snow, not have that same sort of little nostalgia? They wonder what it is. They've been inside. Yeah. I know. I took my kids out today. Yeah. And it was properly fun. We got dressed up warm. Left them out for a while. Yeah, yeah snow angels and uh, <laughs> making uh, snowmen. It was yeah. great. Can I just well say, done. from a northern perspective, this is all overrated. I went out running yesterday in shorts. Everyone else was wearing taxi bombs. I was, granted, at the end, I couldn't feel my legs. Yeah. But it, to me, that's a mild day. I don't know whether you've had different... I mean, we were down on the south coast. It was cold, certainly. It was about zero degrees. There was a bit of a light dusting. But it certainly wasn't like snow angels or tobogganing weather. You, you had serious drifts and stuff, have you? There's snow cover all through London outside. Uh, yeah, 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 that's no, where, where have okay. you been, sir? How did you get here? Well, we have a microclimate <laughs> south of the Downs. This is, uh, this is what makes it so welcome. No, it was crazy. Like, well, I was driving back last night for, uh, and... Uh, it was, it was great. I had to go around, right? It took me like twice as long. It was very it's, scary. We've, we've taken the Daily Mail's rather miserable headline and we've, we've given it a little bit of a yeah, sort of yeah. uh, magical Christmas tree. You're welcome.